Hey guys, Steve here. I wanted to talk a little bit more about the rapture tonight. And I want to start with Revelation 4.1. Revelation 4.1 was while John was exiled to the Isle of Patmos. And he said, After this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was as it were a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. Now, this sounds like the rapture. There's a trumpet. He hears it. In 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 18, it says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Now, if you don't know my Lord and Savior, I'm going to put a video up here to tell you how to re receive him as your Savior so that you can go when the trumpet sounds. In 1 Corinthians 15, 51 through 52, Paul says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. So um, there are feasts, and I know I've talked about the feast days before. Got them right here on this sheet. And we see that um, originally I had heard that Jesus may have been born on the Feast of Tabernacles, but the feast, these are the spring feasts. These have been f fulfilled. Jesus was crucified on the Feast of Passover. The Feast of Unleavened Bread was when he was put in the tomb. First fruits is when he rose from the dead because he is the first fruits of the resurrection. Pentecost was when the church was born. So, and then we have the church age here, or I guess it would be called the time of the Gentiles. Um, they call it the church age summer harvest on this particular sheet. And um, so we have three feasts that don't have a significant event associated with them. These happened in pretty rapid succession. So some believe that the Feast of Trumpets is going to be when Jesus returns. And um, there are different names that the Jews use for the Feast of Trumpets. They believe the Feast of Trumpets to be the anniversary of the creation of Adam and Eve. It's also called the Day of the Awakening Blast. So think about that. Uh, the trumpet sounds the dead in Christ are raised first. The Jewish, the Jewish belief is that the resurrection of the dead will occur on the awakening blast. It's also called the day of the coronation of the king. The day of the coronation of our Lord and Savior. It's called the time of Jacob's trouble. Now, I've told you before that the church is not mentioned after Revelation chapter 3. And um, then we have the time of Jacob's trouble from Revelation 4 through Revelation 19 when Jesus returns on his white horse. It's called the hidden day. It was hidden because they didn't know the exact day that the new moon would appear. And the Feast of Trumpets was on the new moon. They actually had two sets of witnesses that would go out and watch for the moon and they would have to describe what they saw independently so that they would know that it was the new moon. So it was also called the Feast of No Man Knows the Day Nor Hour because they had to look for the moon. It's called the opening of the gates of heaven. It's called the wedding of the Messiah a call for the entire bride of Christ to assemble together. So um, this year, 
2021. The Feast of Trumpets is on September 6th. It's probably going to be a night that I won't be able to sleep, and I'm thinking I won't be able to sleep from uh, when it's midnight in Tel Aviv until midnight the next day in Tel Aviv because I want to be ready if my Lord comes to get me. And uh, so, you know my favorite scripture is, for God so loved the world, he so loved you, he so loved me, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So the active word there is believe, believes. And we've talked about how in the Gospel of John, the word repent is not there. We don't have to repent of our sin to be accepted by the Father. All we have to do is believe that he sent his son to pay for all of our sin, and we are changed. That is what repenting is, because repenting and believing are the same word. When we believe our mind is changed to know that God is for us, not against us. Just like it says in Romans 5, 1, we have peace with God. God looks at our life and he says, I forgive all your sins, past, present, and future. All sins forgiven. You receive the gift of righteousness, the free gift of righteousness from him. So, I hope my Lord returns September 6th. Some believe we might be a month off in the whole Jewish calendar and it might actually be October 6th, which is which is fine too. But uh, I would love for you to come with me if you know him, if you have believed on him for the forgiveness and taking away of all your sin. Once again, that's the good news. So you guys have a great day. I'm going to link to a video down here, another video on the rapture. And uh, in that video, I may have talked about how the Feast of Tabernacles, some believe that Jesus was born on the Feast of Tabernacles. But we see here that the Feast of Tabernacles is a fall feast, and that would have had to put it over here. So who knows? Um, but I hope you have a great day. This is Steve. Bye-bye.